Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 24, the Kobe Bean Bryant episode, rest in peace, Kobe, of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls 3 Open Morrowind with a bunch of mods. Hope you guys are doing well. We are having an absolute blast in Old Ebonheart. Um, this Tamriel rebuilt thus far, this very small section we've seen has already completely lived up to the high bar set that they set themselves. Um, we're going to head into the pond and pawn some stuff. And, uh, oh, Imperial Dragon Scale. Hmm, wait 24, though. And we'll see. We'll look around. See if there's anything we'd like to buy. Expensive rings. Yes, Outland. Imperial broadsword. Hmm. Now I have detect enchantment. Quit the I haven't much time. I would love to cast this. And actually, oh, it did detect something. Look at that. There's an enchantment directly in front of me. What brings you here, friend? Is it on her? Huh. Ah, it must be her sheathed blade. If I understood that right. Tricky when you only have it for a few seconds, but it must be on her person. Something enchanted. Maybe it's an earring or something. Well, I don't think there's earrings in the game, but it could be something else. But okay. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and pawn something. This is the Fetcher's Pawn, the go-to pawn shop for assorted gear and knickknacks. Any rumors about town? A number of distinguished knights and warriors from other provinces have been arriving in our city as of late. It probably has something to do with the rumor that there'll be a melee tournament held at the Ebon Tower, though it hasn't been officially announced yet. Tourneys usually offer hefty rewards and glory for the victor, so I'm not surprised some have traveled across the known world for a chance to participate in one. Hmm. Let's just barter. Um... Imperial Dragon Scale, armor rating 20, that is very nice, but um, I don't think I want to take on the weight. You do have an amulet of far silence. Wow, that's really nice. Silence for 10 seconds can, uh, on target. Emerald's book. Hmm. No skill books, it looks like, but at least not none that I recognize immediately by the price, anyway. Amethyst. Okay, um. Let's. Wooden mace. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. We want to sell the extravagant robe. Um, the grief. Uh, one of the potions of cure common disease. Sujama. The diamond. You do have 600 gold, so... We'll sell the diamond. Ashams. What do Ashams make again? Scuttle and Heather makes Feather. Ashiam and Drew Wax makes um, Fortify Strength. So we're not going to get a hold of any Drew Wax for a while. So let's just sell the Ashams. They're heavy. 
and uh, <clears throat> we'll sell a half pound of heather that we brought with us. We have some books I want to read. Um, actually, I want to read that. I want to read that. 2920 Frostfall. I, I bought or I grabbed just to sell. Um, oh, we're not great on weight. Get rid of this restore fatigue. Every little bit counts. Restore health. Um, throw both of them. We have magical means of doing it. Fortify luck. That's cool. Million twenty percent. Uh there's two exclusive fortify luck, so this fortify luck quality we can just get rid of. Cure paralysis, chameleon. Um two point point five weight in steel throwing stars, spark arrows. 40 iron arrows, 50 silver arrows. They'll go fast if we use more arrows. We only have 20 pounds to play with. Um, we'll read that at some point. Uh, I guess that's it then. Very good, very good. Uh, total sold. Two sixty-eight. Nice. Hello. Mm, not the talkative type. Five sixty-one. Let's check out the uh, Eleni's directions to Balmora. From Sadenine to Balmora by road. From Sadenine, leave the village by the north bridge, then follow the road east past the Silt Starter Port. East of Sedanin, the road heads northeast of the ridge and intersects the northwest south southeast road. Turn left northwest and pass the village of Pelagiate on your right. Road continues north and swings northeast until it reaches a four-way intersection. The road to Belmora turns left, northwest, and descends into Foyata Mamea, a deep volcanic ravine. The road follows the ravine northeast for a short distance, then turns left and climbs out of the ravine to the northwest. North of the ravine, past Fort Moonmoth on the right. Come to an intersection with a signpost. Head due west towards Balmora. Two small bridges cross the Odai River. On the west side of the river, go north, passing the Silt Strider Port and entering the walls of Balmora. Mind the signposts and be careful. In bad weather or darkness, it's easy to stray from the road. So, I just wanted to see if there was any sort of extra interesting information in that. But we already know all that, so we can just go ahead and give that up. Um, I want to check these guides, too. Guide to Dragonstar. We haven't been there yet, but we did already read that. It'd be funny if I sold the package for Caius. Um, these guides are interesting. Point 0.5, point 0.5. Uh, wait, point 0.5. These are one weight. Good sell. The skeleton warrior. <laughs> Come on. Max sale? What does that mean? Oh, no, that's not good. Alright, we'll do it for 32. We'll do it for 32. 31. Wow, you are a stickler. 30, okay. Just want to look around your shop. Amethyst, extravagant ring. No chance. None. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna take anything. Well, looking good, sir. I like the uh, earth tones. Looking good. Hmm. 
Lots of nice steel shields. <clears throat> da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Have an idea, guys. Let's go up here first. Basket. Ooh. Emeralds. And a free estates wine. Fortify willpower. Some freebies up here. Oh, the Fetcher's Pawn. Ashiam. Let's quick save. Flowering Sweet Barrel. Horn Lily. Bolts of Cloth. Weight 25. Not sure why I'm going through her closet, but never mind that. <laughs> okay. Oh, what do we have over here? Uh, expensive pants and expensive shirt. Not my size, unfortunately, but I have a nephew my in that oh she likes her free estates wine it's not my brand got a couple keggers up here other bolts of cloth huh Barrels. She's a barrel hoarder. Of course, I have to check all of them. Mm. Just an empty. Area up here. Uh, I don't want any free estates wine. All right, back down we go. A wine attic. Um, I do have a niece these will fit, so... Uh, getting rid of them, though. I was going to grab them, but... Emeralds, though. We could borrow that. I'm not going to do it. So Wait. what's this about? Oh, nothing. Just admiring your uh, plant over here. All right, so if we go like this, and we go... Telekinesis. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. Well over encumbered. Um, don't know what we tried to accomplish there. Uh, we'll drop the weight 30. And, uh. Dum de dum de dum. Oh, there's some books up here. She wouldn't appreciate us reading them before, uh. purchasing, though. All right. Go ahead. Yes, Outlander. Good day. See you around. Okay, now we need a smithy to sell this to. Oh, we're sneaking. Oops. I <clears throat> know there's a smith down here. Weapon smith. Would you still buy armor? Hello. Do you want something from me? <laughs> Yurlon? Um, what would you give me for this fantastic Imperial Studded Curious? Oh, you would. 
Dragon Scale Helm. Exquisite Telvani Hat. Olomon Steel Left Bracer. Orcish Open Helm. Wow. Value 1200 though. We have 591. He's going to want every bit of that, isn't he? Yeah, 852. But we can get the Dragon Scale Helmet. Which is an upgrade over the Redoran Helmet. So we're selling, we're actually making a profit selling these two. I'm taking that wooden staff of war, wooden staff of shaming. We rest artisan longsword. Do have some fancy weapons, sir. Dwarven short sword. That would probably take the place of silver. At that point, we wouldn't need silver if we have something that nice, right? Like Dwarven. I think Dwarven would act the same as silver. Um, do I grab that? It's fantastic condition. It's very durable. Um sell you the silver one. I think that's a good idea. Did we already sell the silver one? Oh, I dropped it back at... Ah, gotta go grab it back at the Mages Guild. Okay, so yeah, we'll grab that. Um, total cost 163. Um, pay you 155, so... Good day. Yeah, before I forget, let's go back to the Mages Guild. I'm not busy now. What do you need? I'm good, thank you, sir. Let's head back down to the Mages Guild. Oh, it's going to rain. Probably get some good noise indoors, at least. Maybe, if it does that in this one. Okay, there's our silver short sword. May I help? picking up my sword and I think down here we left there goes the rain oh, there's the scrib oh no it's gone no it was this way wait where the heck did I leave it okay I ran in here Outlander seeks answers. All oh, right, it's uh, up top. I well, actually, it's this Achieva give you the silver short sword and maybe grab Imperial Netch Blade, nah. the buoyancy ring versus Ring of the Long March. Ring of Silence. Uh, uh Bone Guard Bell, that's a good one too. And we do have that at Grave Ward Amulet, Summon Skeletal Minion. We already have Skeletal Minion, so. Don't need the Bone Guard Belt. Amulet of Mighty Blows. It's only 15. It is one weight, that, though. But it fortifies strength, so we can move if we pick up too much. So we'll grab that. And, um... Buoyancy Ring. Cost is 100. Uh, is there anything we can part with? Silence Ring. No. Nah, we Gucci. Total cost 100. I'll give you 95. I want 94. All your gold. Nice. Perfect. See what it would cost to enchant the Dwarven Short Sword with um, cross damage. 819. 
Interesting. 10 points, 1565. Huh, but if we go 5 to 5. Duration one second, two second doubles it. Go five points for one second on touch, and we throw in. From Titan, charge 70. The amount of soul in the soul gem in the soul gem slot, cast cost. The amount of charge points needed each time this enchantment is cast, the number is modified by your enchant skill. The first number of the en enchantment is the total amount the enchantment would cost to cast. The second number is the total enchantment cost that can be placed on this type of item. So basically, we have 70 swings with this. For 819. That's not bad. I don't think we have 819 though. Cast one strikes. Yeah, that's not bad. Mmm. -hmm. at all we can make it a, a leech blade have it restore health very cool but that's something to look forward to we're going to be getting into um, spell crafting and enchanting in the future right now I want to make that our all purpose blade And put the ring on for the silence ring. Keep the buoyancy ring on. And uh, get that dragon scale helmet on. Taking our armor. Well, still to 10. Could use an exquisite skirt. Find one. We have 342. Dang, common stuff. Did we get in that? Oh yeah, it had four gold in a bowl. But don't know where the script came from. Don't ask me. Is this a Chiva? Maybe Manny all had something to do with it. Ah, welcome. What is it, friend? Um. I will get, uh, let's see, do we want enchant or do we want mysticism? Enchant. All right, and we leveled up. So let's go ahead and do our level up this uh, episode. Can't rest in his bed though. I don't know where we could rest at in here. She won't let me crash with her on the double bed. Being very selfish about that. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, what's under there? What is that? Skooma, no kidding. An alchemist guide to Skooma. There's moon sugar on that plate. There surely is. <laughs> well, the more you learn about your fellow guildmates' expensive robe. Don't want to cover up my beautiful armor, though. Let's take a look at this, by the way. Looking fantastic. Taking the skirt. Um... I don't know where we're supposed to rest. They should have a bed for us. It is the Mage's Guild. It's our... One of our home bases. Top floor, maybe? <laughs> First hold revolt. Was I in here? I don't remember being in here. Welcome. Oh, Brebe. Don't be shy. I'm listening. Brebe. Brebe. Um, 
Can I use your bed? Ah, there's my bed. It's got expensive pants on it, or that bed. I didn't check these out. Oh yeah, expensive pants. Hey, that's a pretty cool skirt. Is that? That's different from mine, but. Huh. Let's see. Um. Ah. There we are. Let's try it on. Hmm. See the boots more. Should you need something, I will be happy to oblige. Yeah, we'll roll with this one. And uh, slip over here in the corner. Safe and protected in the rain, getting some nice rest. Boom. You have ascended to level three. You realize that you're catching on to the secret of success? It's just a matter of concentration. Well, definitely take intelligence times five. Um, I think we'll go personality times two. Um, ability to resist magic and maximum fatigue, strength. I almost want to get more strength just so I can carry more, but... Maybe I'd be wise to put it in willpower there. Yeah, my personality is good enough thus far. We'll get, get it into willpower. Boom. There we are. 175 now. What expensive pants look like? Oh, I can put them on underneath the skirt. No kidding. Wow. That is very wild. I didn't know you could do that. Huh. Okay. Don't think we can wear two amulets, right? Nope. Um. Okay, so we'll go sell the expensive skirt that we're not wearing. Actually, would not be a bad idea. been expelled from the mages guild oh my gosh let's do auto save oh, why would that how did she see me through there she was spying on me strength intelligence willpower Huh. I'd have to telekinetically. Oh, wait a minute. Welcome. Please don't go. Goya. Ooh. I'm listening. Scroll of Hellfire. Ooh. The Chunax Fire and Faith. This book is a translated account of the Chunax travels among the various colonies of the Dweamer, explaining the theories of Kagranak. I made inquiry as to the state of enlightenment among the people he spoke for. He answered that with respect to the theories of Kagranak, there was but one scholar near who could guide the people through the maze that leads to true misunderstanding. He informed me, however, that in 
Karaka, the precepts of Kagranek, were taught. He said that nothing pleased him more than to see the Dwemer of Karaka, the most learned people in the world, studying Kagranek's words and giving consideration to their place in the life to come, and where neither planar division, planar division, nor the numeration of amnesia, nor any other thing of utility, was more valued than the understanding of the self and its relationship to the heart. I was gracious enough to receive this as a high compliment, and, removing my helm, I thanked him and departed with an infinity of bows. Hmm. Welp. I'm gonna be a little sneaky. Because telekinesis is an amazing spell. I have to be careful. Let's sneak back here. Why can't I get in here? Oh. Ah, grab it. Oh, I missed the Goya. It's okay. Hello. What can I help you with? Oh, my mortar and pestle. Lovely. Nothing. I'll be going now. <laughs> I was sleeping. Oh, man. It felt good to get a nap. Yeah. By all means, I'm listening. Okay. Um. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Magic is so cool in this game. Uh. Let's see. We are nowhere near another level. Uh, our main skills, our major skills going well. Minor skills going well. Should maybe join the Fighter's Guild. 20 in Enchant. That's going very well. 16 in Destruction, 13 Conjuration. Yeah, even these miscellaneous skills are doing very well. Lost my light on my smoke. Give me a second, guys. Hmm. <laughs> Did I ever go through every skill and and read that? I don't think I did. But they're pretty self-explanatory. A reputation is one. Nice. Um Let's get some duties while we're here. Let's uh see what homie here has to say. What <gasps> can I do for you, friend? Extravagant robe. Extravagant left glove. There's no way not to be seen in here though. Tavani construction bottle of sludge. Ooh, a greater lich. Wow. That has the same value of a golden saint, it looks like. But yeah, there's no not being seen there. Or in that direction. Alright, well. Hello, Archibald. Uh, welcome. What is it, friend? Um, advancement? Congratulations, you are now Alsarian, the journeyman. Study diligently and perform your duties. Uh, speaking of duties, I don't have any duties for you at present. I'm up to my ears and incompetent apprentices. Why don't you go help some of them out? Amalfia Terramon is looking for help with a couple of research projects. Where is she at? You can find her in the basement. She's not the most capable alchemist, but we work with what we've got. And Paravane Naragu. Oh, we should be around here somewhere. Have you tried the mess hall? Um, supply chests. Every once in a while, the Empire sends us some basic supplies for all our members. You can get yours from those chests you find in the, each guild house. Nothing to tell tales about, but useful supplies nevertheless. And what does a learned person like you know about vampires? Hmm, we already heard that. Uh, 
Give a little advice. Join the Mages Guild. Rise ranks to get good rates for service and stay in their good graces by minding their rules and performing their required duties. And you know something about the old Ebonheart Mages Guild. Welcome to the south side of the Inner Sea and the largest city of the Empire on this, this side of Tamriel. The Legion has the surrounding lands, both Fauna and Dunmer locals, well under heel. Unfortunately for us, that means a lot of wet ear apprentices running around the town. As an established member of the guild, I expect you to do your duties and teach these young bloods what's what. Um, I gave a letter to Burbani Irian. You're looking for her. She should be around here somewhere. Cursed gems? A cursed diamond? I don't know anything about that, but if you found it downstairs, maybe you should be asking around down there as well. No kidding. Did I sell the cursed diamond? I surely did. To the pawnbroker. Let's go talk to Maniel. Was there something else to do with that, maybe? Welcome. Please, don't be shy. I'm listening. Curse, Jim. What? Cursed? Ah, yes. Oh, my. You didn't touch it, did you? Dang, I knew someone would run into it eventually. Well, what happened? A scrib appeared behind me. A scrib? Are you sure it wasn't anything deadly and more daedric? Whew, I guess it could have ended much worse. As you've probably read in the note I left there, I was working on that diamond when I accidentally dropped it, right as the enchantment was setting. Ever heard of gems that, once touched, summon a Dramora? They've been noted among the offerings in Daedric Ruins. Well, that's the kind of thing I've been trying to achieve. I just need to get different gems to study. Say, would you help me? Uh, sure, I'll help you. Wonderful. I need some five new cursed gems to proceed with my research. I've already studied small pearls, spinels, and tectites, although I don't think you'll find cursed stones of so little value. I had the good luck to access a casket of rubies and emeralds back when the guild was contracted to dispel the king's inventory, and inert diamonds weren't impossible to come by on the black market. Now I need to look at gems of another type if I'm to compare how the enchantments play over material structures. I've searched Hadrum and Hadrum Nabibi to no Hadrum Nabibi to no avail, but such offerings are reported to be found again in the majority of Daedric ruins. Look for the main shrine where there should be some altar with various objects. You'll know you found the right gem if a Dramora appears as you touch it. When you get the gem, simply bring them to me. Good luck! Yeah, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon because... Um... I don't think we can survive the Daedric Ruin right now. Old Debonheart Mages Guild. Old Debonheart is the largest imperial city in Morrowind, so this guild hall attracts a lot of mages looking for a slice of civilization. You know a little lore? House of Lalu is an ambitious house of traders and merchant princes. They are strong supporters of the Empire. And uh, what about Ebon Tower? It was one of the first buildings constructed after the Indoro burned Ebonheart to the ground. The castle's layout was meant to mimic the Imperial City. Huh. What's your background? I am Manuel Sibiniti. Sibiniti. Enchanter and Conjurer of the Mages Guild. Enchanter. A soul gem's power limits the number of an item's uses, but the gems renew their expended power over time. What about enchantments? Temple enchanters favor healing and protection spells. Rhetoran enchanters favor wounding missile loads and shield spells. Alalu like weapon enchantments and various spell rings. Imperials use a wide array of weapon and ring damage enchantments. But the masters of enchantment are the Talvani. They use all effects, often several combined on one item, but they especially like items that summon creatures or magical weapons and armor. Right, we have heard that. Um, barter? I guess we don't need... Oh, we have that Goya. But will he recognize that as being belonging to someone here if I were to give it to him? We can go back to the pawnbroker. 
if that he hasn't realized that we sni uh, swiped from him too. <laughs> swipey, swipey, Drew Sparkblade, Demon Tonto. Oh man, wait a minute, we're carrying three blades. I might have to get, well, now that I have that, I'll probably get rid of the Drew Sparkblade because I think bounding a dagger is going to be a better dagger. Well, you know what? Let's try to use that, actually. Let's uh, get out of here for a second. And let's go ahead and bound a dagger. Well, first of all, what are the controls? Let's quick save. Um, how do I swap through spells? Previous spell, next spell. Minus and equals. Okay. That's interesting. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Okay, it puts it right in my hand, too. And it is a bound dagger. Oh, wow. Fortifies short blade, 10 points, constant effect. Wow. Very nice stats, yeah. That's definitely worth keeping, and we have a bunch more charges of it. Um, now, the fact that this just does 3 to 7 for one second on touch... Plus the base damage is pretty good, but we can get this enchanted to do the frost damage. So I'll definitely keep the Demon Tonto. So I guess the true spark blade has to go. We bought it expecting it to be like good, but I think we can sell it. I don't know. Put that away before anybody gets any. Oh, I can't put it away until it goes away don't want to talk to people with a weapon drawn either is that like Daedric hey why did the why is the camera not working now? Oh, because I'm wielding a weapon? You can't look around while wielding a weapon? Is that it? Oh, there we go. Yeah. I was pressing the wrong button to put the weapon away. I was pressing R instead of F. Welcome. Please, don't be shy. I'm listening. Indeed. Um... Okay, so since that only has 20 charge, uh, I don't know. Shock damage. We can make a Dweemer shock blade, and it's going to be way better. So we'll sell the Drew spark blade, I think. Uh, let's just hit the pawn shop and also try to um, actually let's hit you. Such fine company. One would be wise to listen. Awesome. Anywhere can be of assistance, Elzerion. Just tell me what you want to know. Hmm. <clears throat> Drew Sparkblade gotta go. Oh, you only have 350. Uh. Do I take 350 or do I go to someone else who maybe has more money? Does the pawnbroker even have more money now that I. Took money from him. Oh, wait, we have... Ah, 60. I can't open that with my Anduce's open door spell. You need help, Amelphia. Please don't be shy. I'm listening. What's your background? I'm Amelphia Terramon, an apprentice in the Mages Guild. I recently moved here to Old Devonheart to practice my alchemy and study unique Morrowind ingredients. I'm afraid my potions are no match for Nar Narusia's, the other alchemist in town, but I can give you a Mages Guild discount. I'm about Monsty. I'm a, it's a Morrowind beer made from salt rice. 
I'm told it's more common the further south you go, being that salt rice is one of the major exports of Great House, Dre Great House Drez. Most Dunmer belonging to House Drez aren't exactly friendly enough for me to go up and ask for some, though. Sheen? Seems the only wine they have in Morrowind is made out of calm berries. I want to see how it compares to the grape wine in Cyrodiil. Sujama? It's supposed to be very potent, but I'm not sure what it's made out of. Perhaps one of the local roots. Grief? The native brandy is called Grief. Like Sheen, it's made from calm berries, not grapes. Um, Amber? Amber is one of the rare gemstones, not of mineral origin. It is actually fossilized resin. It is quite valuable and has interesting magical properties. And finally, well, Old Devonheart Mages Guild. There's plenty of space here for us to further our study of magic. More than you might expect looking at it from the outside. Have you seen a horse, by the way? Funny you should mention that. An Ashlander came into my shop the other day, asking if I had any fish scales or quamacuddle to trade. He said he wanted them for a potion to help move a large animal across the Thir River, but then looked at me funny when I told him Guars could swim well enough on their own. Oh, that's interesting. And finally, duties. I think I might have something you can do. I've been experimenting with some alchemical ingredients that you can only find on the mainland of Morrowind, and I've run out of three of them. You could help replenish my stores. Replenish your stores? I've run out of Hama... Hamam roots, Ornata eggs, and amethysts. If you could bring me back one Hamam root, two Ornata eggs, and one amethyst, I should be set until Archibald can order more through his own connections. What in the world are Ornata eggs? Ornatas are insect-like creatures found only on the mainland of Morrowind. Only the queens carry the eggs, and they can be quite rare. So you might be better off shopping at some of the local alchemists or publicans to find the eggs. What is hamam ham root? You can find hamam root on any hamam plant on the main land of Morrowind, though you can usually find them growing north of Darvonis. I hear there are, there's a more local farmer to the east of here who's planted a row. If you're very polite, you could probably take some samples from her crops. Amethyst? Okay, okay, I know amethyst can be found outside of Morrowind, but it's still important I get one. Have you tried a pawn shop or a jeweler's? I guess you could also find them as offerings in the Dunmer Ancestral Tombs, but, um, don't tell anyone I said that. Okay, we can barter with you. You have none of the above. Well, that would be funny if you had Amethyst. Um. <clears throat> you only have 150 gold. Could sell you the Goya, but would she say it was hers? Let's try to get 80 for it total. <gasps> no! I did the wrong thing. To what do I owe this pleasure? Okay, so now we know though. Don't uh try to sell. your trade a little advice buy a spell of every type that you can find this will give you the best option later is when you're creating your own custom spells okay duties do you have any other duties Okay. So don't try to sell a guild someone else's stuff or they will catch on to you. That's where you have to be a little careful if you're stealing a bunch of stuff because it's like, hmm, what did I take from this one and give to that one? And yeah, a little tricky. So, huh. Okay. Um, goodbye. I guess that's the penalty of, you know, stealing a lot. One of them, anyway. The other is getting killed over it. <clears throat> oh. Oh my gosh, we are evil. Fifth barrier. 
Oh my gosh. This is like cheat mode. Only witnesses the script, and he ain't talking. Huh. Wow. Give me. Oh my gosh, those are four super powerful scrolls. <laughs> Do I use the open lock 100 on the sturdy arch door? Or do I use it back in the Imperial Cult where we saw that locked 100 um, cabinet? But there's two people standing in front of that. I wonder what would happen if we did that. Oh. Man. I don't want to like abuse that though, even though it is very cool. Yes, Alan. What do you want? It seems like it could be abused a little bit, <laughs> or a lot of it. I'm listening. Please go ahead. Should probably be a more expensive spell, I would think. But if there's people around, you can't really abuse ahead, it. Alan. What do you need? Okay, let's get out of here, I guess. Um, well, actually, we should probably rest first. And, uh... A Mage's Guild journeyman, I see. Welcome. <laughs> awesome, that was cool. I find myself in pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. <laughs> uh... I am Brabani Arian, Battle Mage and Warlock of the Mage's Guild. I am a Battle Mage, though arrayed as a Western Knight with heavy armor, axes and long blades, my primary training is in the College of Alteration, and the College of Destruction, and the College of Conjuration. To round out my education, I have mastered enchantments and alchemy. Potions made through alchemy or purchased from alchemists grant me the magics of the Restoration, Mysticism, and Illusion Colleges. And can there be any more terrible master of the science of war than a battle mage? I think not. In the old Devonheart Mages Guild? Have you noticed the ritual can the ritual candles expanding the space within the hall? They're a lot more stable than the previous attempt at expansion, especially with all the magic our newer members throw around. Previous attempt? It was both larger and considerably more dangerous than our current guild hall. Many of Silbanetti Silbanetti might be able to tell you more. Interesting. I did not expect to hear that from her, but, um, very good. There's a barrel back there, or a crate. Some salt rice. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. Actually, let's finish practicing for the day. No, that's not it. No. Drew spark blade. Oh, we didn't sell that yet. Okay, let's um go to rest until healed. And quick save and see how long we've been playing. Oh my gosh, 54 minutes. Well, so I want to thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're digging the LP thus far. Feel free to leave a like. It helps the channel a lot. Leave me a comment. That helps as well. Let me know what you think. So feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. And feel free to join me next time, guys, as we explore more of Modded Morrowind. Having a ton of fun. Going to be more fun. So come on back for more. In the meantime, be well. Live well. Stay well, guys. Much love, peace, and joy to all of you. See y'all in the next one. We are just getting started, really scratching the surface, to be honest. Until then, guys, peace.